You know, it's it's uh, this thing about some people like saying how it's ageist to uh, you know criticize Biden. It's like I'm not criticizing him because of his age. I'm criticizing him because he has clear cognitive problems. Yeah, you know I mean, I- it's just natural. He's he's diminishing with his mental faculties. Like his, yeah, he is like just not able to do the job, you know, like, and I think that goes for anybody who's at that age. Like Trump is also like in his eighties. Yeah. We need Obama at least was like what? 46 when he was president. And he seemed sound of mind. Right. Yeah. Uh, even Bush was like kind of ditzy and stuff, but he was still sound of mind, you know, like you got to have younger people in that office. I, I think the cutoff should be around like 70, you know, maybe more or less, but yeah. Well, I don't think there should be like a cutoff, but I, I do think there should be a, like some sort of, you know, cognitive test because there are people at Biden's age or yeah, sometimes Bernie, even Bernie solid. Yeah, there's people Biden's age and older that are still sharp as a tack. And like, if that's the case, yeah. like, I'm totally fine with it. But yeah. like these people that are just burying their heads in the sand and pretending like he doesn't have a problem. It's insane to me. Like, he's clearly struggling. He, yeah. I don't know. I mean, once you get in power, you don't want to give it up. And it's it's kind of hard to overthrow an incumbent. We saw that with, uh, was it uh, Diane Feinstein? Was she the one? Or was it someone else uh, who passed away recently who was just so, she had to sign away her right of attorney to her daughter like years before she even died. I think it was Diane Feinstein. Yeah. Yeah. So, and she was still in, you know, office voting on bills and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's scary, you know. Well, look, look at, uh, you know, Mitch McConnell. Uh, yeah, yeah. He has, like, black hands from falling all over the place. And, like, he can't talk. He gets confused mid-sentence. People yeah. have to stop interviews for him. Like Straight up, like, freezes, you know. Yeah. I mean... I think I said this before, but that's the fall of empires. Like when people become so out of touch and old and incapable of making rational decisions that benefit the people of that time period, they, yeah. I mean, you just end up living in a different time period. You're not making the right decisions. You just, everything goes helter skelter, you know? I gotta say, I'm so dreading this year. I just have the worst feelings. There's going to be a lot of political violence. There's there's already uh, been like several like um, shootings in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I don't know. I just got a feeling that there's going to be a lot of that this year. I think so too. Uh, honestly, I've become so apathetic, which is bad. Like it's horrible, but like I expect the violence. I just don't want to be reminded of like this right versus left, like political ads and all this con- like politics. Like I just. I become so turned off by politics. It's just, it's so gross, you know, like. It ugh, really just, is. Like, I yeah. mean, it always is, but this year, just especially. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just an exam. It, it's just, you can tell how corrupt the system is when these two guys are running and like one of them's an obvious pathological liar and just terrible person. And yeah. the other one, it, it like we we said, is is so uh, in cognitive decline that nobody wants him there, but he's there. And yeah. it's just, I don't know, the whole thing, it's like the fact that those are the two guys, it's like, yeah, this system's working real well, you know? Yeah, they're the cream of the crop, apparently. They rose to the top. <laughs> like, there, there's There's – Harvard graduates, there's PhD students out there. They're, they're such smart people. I get that there's a, I, I think you have to be a certain age to run for president, like the minimum age. I'm not sure. 35. 35. And that's, that's pretty young. Yeah. You know, like there are a lot of amazing people out there who are just geniuses. I don't understand. I, I, I get that they don't want to get involved with politics because it's so disgusting and it's such, it's such filth, but I just have a hard time believing that an intelligent person who's capable mm-hmm. and who has the merit for the job can't like, it just shows you that there's so much corruption in the system. 
that's what holds them back and keeps these people in front you know like it couldn't be anything else yeah i mean i won't be excited no matter what until a more progressive candidate actually like gets in there and has a chance of winning which i don't suspect will ever happen but um... yeah and somebody who actually does what they're gonna say like what they say like because a lot of these people get turned once they get into office the those big corporate bucks you know like they change everything so yeah well, I mean, and listen I, I, to... I understand that like even someone if, if if by some miracle someone who is an actual progressive made it to, to office i know their hands would still be tied in a way because like congress would still be deadlocked yeah. but i'm like if that person didn't do absolutely everything they could through executive order to help people mm-hmm. i would still be like disappointed in that person yeah exactly i mean we saw it happen with trump he was able to pass as many executive orders as he wanted to police his base and it just seems like on the left these conservative democrats they they don't use that and i think there's a reason you know they're they're trying to keep the status quo so i mean somebody who's a progressive will at least use that tool to try to change things and appeal to their base you know so yeah i can see that i mean from my understanding i think there's a lot you know if if you know biden wasn't bought off by the corporate donors like i think through executive action he could essentially make marijuana federally legal he could forgive student loan debt he could do a quite a bit of stuff that he doesn't but yeah he needs those big corporate bucks though because he's 80 and you know he's going to live a long life still and needs all that money and so do all those old ass democrats and this the funny thing is like they're already able to make insider trading you know investments like that based on their their like primary like what do you call that like when somebody has proprietary uh, knowledge right like so like they they have the first scoop on uh you know what investment is a good investment what company they're the ones in like allowing these companies to have a leg up you know like they'll allow this firm to have like a a deal with the government to explore the ocean for oil or whatever the deal is you know and they can find out like if they've struck anything or if there's any oil there so like they can make these investments firsthand you know and they already make millions off of those. I don't understand. Like, how much do you need? You know, how much? How? There's no limit to how greedy people get. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think once you have something, they just want more. That's all it is. Like, look at Marjorie Taylor Greene. She was in office for like two, three years, and she went from like having a what a hundred thousand, couple hundred thousand, to forty one million dollars. Or is that Lauren, Lauren Bober? Is one of them, and like it just shows you can make that money so easily, so quickly in that office, and you don't need to be selling out at eighty. You know, there's no reason that you need to be selling out at eighty. Uh, you should have made all that money by then. You have power. You have money. You're good to go. Yeah, there there really is no limit for people because I think they get to thinking like, oh, even if I have enough money for my lifetime now i get a chance to make generational wealth so that yeah. my grandchildren's grandchildren can be rich you know and create this dynasty it always escalates yeah always, like i i need to buy three more i need to buy a house in the hamptons i need to buy a house in malibu i need to buy a house here i need a yacht you know like it's just it's always something 